It's been very quiet in the studio lately. Riley and Barrett are both on a family sailing trip, so I'm all alone in the studio to fend for myself. So, why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. I said, to get to the other side. One, one sec. Boo! Bad joke! That was better. Feels uh, a little bit less lonely that way. Before we start, we will be announcing the Steam gift card giveaway winners later on, so stay tuned. Today, Verizon has bought Yahoo for $4.83 billion. Now that might seem like a lot of money to some people, but in the year 2000, Yahoo was worth $125 billion. So, there's that. Anyway, the deal for the sale doesn't include Yahoo's shares in Alibaba. Yahoo's non-core patents and minority investments were also not included in the deal. Just as a refresher, Verizon also bought AOL more than a year ago. With the acquisition of Yahoo, Verizon hopes that it will help accelerate their revenue stream in digital advertising. The deal is set to be completed next year. Some rumored news on Apple's Project Titan. Well, first off, for those of you who are new, Project Titan is Apple's electric car project. Got it? Good. Now, it looks like Apple may have finally found someone to run the project. Sources are saying that it will be Bob Mansfield that will be leading the charge. Bob was the one who led the hardware engineering for the early iPads, the iMac, and the MacBook Air. He may not be an automotive expert, but if he can translate his visions for Apple's products into Project Titan, electric vehicles may never be the same. At this moment, neither Apple or Bob has commented about this rumor. Google has just announced a new algorithm today. This new algorithm will allow developers to reduce the size of their Android app updates so that users can save data. Google says that the new algorithm can reduce patch sizes by 50% or more when compared to the old algorithm. Even APK expansion files can be reduced by 65% on average. Good guy Google over here, always looking out for its users and their data plans. It's time for... Lightning round. Oh my. Oh my indeed. Thanks Austin for that submission. If you would like to be featured on Netlink, send us your version of Lightning Round. Not to be outdone by Nintendo, Sega is also coming out with a mini Genesis console with 80 preloaded games, but it won't have HDMI out. But it will have a cartridge slot and an SD card slot. So, I guess Sega will do what Nintendo don't. Bad joke! Scientists have created a new way for theaters to show 3D content without 3D glasses. The tech is still fairly new so we won't see it in actual theaters for a while, but hey, at least people with prescription glasses won't need to put on glasses over glasses anymore. Glasses Inception. Ford Motor Company plans to offer their Sync 3 platform Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in all of their 2017 model year cars, SUVs, light trucks, and electric vehicles. The OnePlus 3 will have a new color option of soft gold starting tomorrow in the US, while other countries will get it August 1st. And Valve has announced a limited edition Dota 2 Championship HTC Vive headset to commemorate the international tournament. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description. Big shout out goes to Saxostorm's brother Eric for being a longtime fan. Speaking of fans, here are the five winners for the Steam $100 gift cards. Congrats to Misha, Rick, Robert, Yellow Pyramid, and David. Check your Twitter DMs on how to claim your gift cards. Now, for those of you who are disappointed that you didn't win, don't worry. You still have a chance to win big with the Intel Extreme Rig Challenge. You can vote for your favorite system builder and PC every day and be entered to win a PC worth $10,000. Click here or the link down below for more details. Use hashtag Intel Rig Challenge and tag your favorite system builder and PC to enter. Like I said, you can vote every day. Like every day, that's one entry. Click here or down there. 
All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Head us up on Twitter right over here. But as always, don't forget to like the video, comment down below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. And for those of you who usually stick around for this part of the show, I would like to say thank you and that I will be shaving the beard after PAX. I will have grown the beard for a year by then. Uh, I will, however, shave it off early if we hit 1 million subscribers before PAX. I mean, we're at like what? Uh, 952,000, so not that far off. Okay, I have to go now and cry in the corner all by myself. And then edit this video. Because it's not going to edit itself. So.